now we're going to enjoy this, especially if you're nosy when it started with a handful of artists in Brighton and they first used their homes to show their work to the public. But 40 years on, the open houses have become a global phenomenon. Well, throughout the month of May, hundreds of properties across the city will display a dazzling array of art for people to come and see, as Malcolm Shaw reports. Uh, one, two, and then that one would be, do you think, in the middle of the picture, <laughs> tweak it. They call it the Tate Gallery. Last minute picture hanging is underway at the home of Gail Gibson Tate, just one of 150 venues for this year's Artist Open Houses. Work by five different people lines the walls here. The movement was created by Ned Hoskins, who threw open the doors of his house in Brighton 40 years ago. He had the idea of opening his house to the public as part of Brighton Festival and inviting people inside to, to see his work. And he kind of saw it in a way as um, a very democratic thing to do, um, that, that it um, dissolved barriers that some people feel about going to art galleries and made everybody feel welcome to come into, into an artist's home and, um, and view work. The theme this year is Towards the Light, inspired by Ned Hoskins' love of nature and landscape. The open houses give the artists a unique way of showcasing their work and provide visitors with a rare insight into the creative process. It's an unusual thing to have your door open, certainly in Britain, um, you know, and to invite people in. At one point I had a, a painting that was called The Gossip and... Um, People actually sat down, they were sitting on the floor, on the sofas, telling each other stories about what gossip had done to them. And it was extraordinary. I think it would be really nice to see you working at a, like a, on a big scale. Inclusivity is now an important part of the open houses. Figment Arts oh yeah, are displaying really work by autistic, learning disabled and neurodiverse artists. What a lot of the artists need is a place where they can actually come and make work. So, you know, home might not be a place where they can focus or they might not have the, the space or the facilities. Um, and I think a lot of the artists that we're working with haven't had the same opportunities as, as other people might have had. So, um, you know, they might be starting from a different place in terms of their art uh, journey. I've never done artists open houses yet, but I've always really wanted to. So, um, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to this and um, I hope I get more um, you know coverage and publicity from it and people see my art and the other artists in Figment Arts. The artists open houses may have started here in Brighton but they inspired similar events across the world. The 40th anniversary celebration runs alongside the Brighton Festival and Fringe throughout the month of May. Malcolm Shaw, ITV News, Brighton.